Hi, uh, my name is Indri Usman and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Politics and International Relations at Southampton University. I specialize in EU public policy, uh, children's rights, human rights and the protection of minorities. And more recently, um, I was a Fulbright Schumann scholar at, the, uh, Harvard, at Harvard University where I uh, researched uh, the protection of child migrants in the US. And this is the topic of my presentation, so the protection of uh, child migrants in the US during uh, the Trump administration. Uh, first of all, the US is the only country uh, in the world that hasn't ratified the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, which is the main international instrument uh, that sets out the main uh, political, social, uh, economic and cultural rights of every child. Uh, all the countries that um, have signed and ratified this convention are, are legally required to meet children's basic needs and help them uh, reach their full potential. Um, why this convention is important is also due to the fact that it provides a new way of thinking about children. Uh, they are uh, described as being independent, autonomous uh, rights holders who have agency and sh who should have a say um, with respect to all those decisions that affect their lives. Um, so given that the US hasn't ratified this convention, this means that it doesn't apply uh, to children in the US and this includes uh, child migrants. Um, but this means that U.S. immigration law uh, treats children, uh, uh, child migrants, child refugees as adults rather than as children. And in practice, this means that when it comes to immigration procedures, um, they are being treated as adult migrants. Their immigration status uh, is prioritized over their status as children. Um, and this has uh, significant consequences, of course, on, on uh, their prospects of getting uh, um, an immigration uh, form of relief, so being granted asylum or other forms of immigration relief. Um, now, the Trump administration um, uh, was always um, very... Um, um, honest about its uh, stance on uh, immigration. Uh, as we know, uh, they, uh, Trump embraced a very strong uh, anti-immigration uh, approach, um, famously um, known also as the, you know, the, uh, his intention of building uh, this wall at the border with, with Mexico. But um, what uh, this administration tried to do was to target those uh, illegal uh, migrants coming from Central America, uh, especially uh, from the Northern Triangle countries such as uh, El Salvador, Honduras and Guatemala. Um, and now I'm going to talk about a specific uh, controversial policy that uh, was adopted and enforced by the Trump administration. So this is the so-called um, family separation policy or the zero tol tolerance approach to illegal uh, immigration. And this was in place between uh, April and June 2018, although there is evidence that it continued till um, October 2019. So what was happening was that uh, at the southern border, so the border with Mexico, um, migrant families uh, coming from Central America uh, were being separated, so parents from children. Uh, and adults were um, uh, prosecuted and held in uh, federal jails, whereas uh, children were put in uh, detention facilities or detention centers at, at the southern border. Um, apart from the fact that this policy uh, violates the main international human rights uh, standards and, and human rights law, as well as children's rights uh, standards and law, it also had a very uh, significant 
uh, traumatic impact on, on those families and sp uh, specifically on those children uh, who are being uh, separated from their parents, uh, mainly because most of these children were quite young and they couldn't understand what was happening to them, mainly because they didn't speak the language, uh, so English. And also because this was such an um, extraordinary event in their life, uh, most of the children thinking that they were being abandoned by, by, by their parents. Uh, therefore, the psychological trauma uh, was quite significant. Um, and uh, scientific ev evidence uh, shows that uh, for those children that uh, 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 experienced this family separation um, uh, policy at the border. Um, so there were significant um, psychological uh, impacts um, and uh, some of them uh, experienced post-traumatic stress disorder, depression and long-term uh, uh, psychological trauma. Um, so uh, this policy is important because uh, it shows um, the great effort uh, um, made by the Trump administration in order to deter illegal uh, immigration uh, from uh, uh, the southern uh, uh, from Central America. So uh, those illegal immigrants crossing the southern border. Um, Given that the current international focus on, on uh, the coronavirus pandemic and the anti-racist um, protests, it seems that the, the situation of uh, this child migrants, child refugees um, at the southern border has somehow fallen off the political radar for the time being. Um, however, uh, despite this, um, despite the fact that they are not visible uh, in the media, in the news anymore, uh, there is uh, still um, evidence that their, their situation has not improved, so how they are treated by immigration officers uh, at the southern border. Um, thank you very much.